Okay. Hey. I don't know what it is, friends. Well, I kind of do. How are you doing, by the way? Hey, how you doing? Buck and Billy Ray. Welcome to Buck and Billy Ray's YouTube channel here in Nanaimo, British Columbia on Vancouver Island. Yeah, right. Um, good morning, friends. So, you know, the world is such a... It's, it's perfect at all times. It just is. It always has been, always will be. It's... It's when it doesn't align with our timing and our situations that we tend to, well, we have the opportunity to uh, freak out, right? But yet in the same breath, we say to our peers and our friends that everything happens for a reason. But yet when something goes down that is a little unsavory on your end, you freak out. I'm not speaking about you in general. Maybe it is you. It's not me. That's for that's for darn sure. Uh, I'm not a freaker. I, I don't freak out. Never really been a freaker, especially uh, in crisis for some reason. I don't I don't know why. Anyways, I'm in a rip roaring mood because I've just received some information that. Remember that last tree job we were on, friends? The one with the cedar and the two big firs for my good buddy, lifelong friend, Rob. Um, he was supposed to have a fella come down who perhaps uh, maybe owed him a favor or, or whatever it was to come and help out with the wood. Well, he's, he's calfed on Rob. He's calfed on Rob. This makes me very happy. <laughs> you know why. Because I've been bugging Rob, actually, I want to go do that for him. Uh, I want us to go, you and I, as the recipient. Rob is going to be the recipient of our gifts from this channel. You know, friends, there's been some interesting times uh, this year, obviously. And I think it's... I always reflect at this, this time of year. I do. I, I always reflect at this time of year. But... I think it's wreaking havoc on some folks. I, I do, I, 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 it's sad to me to watch what's happening to some people. Um, I want my closest people who come here every day to see me, who come here for positivity and love, to know that y you too can be invincible to uh, what's the word I'm looking for I, I don't even know the word attack um, slander or uh, verbal uh, anything do you know what I'm saying like if someone comes and, and accosts you and says oh you're this and you're that um you understand that you are invincible to it. You have the opportunity to be invincible to it. Just so you know that. So, I, I just open up a box here. My post lady comes. She comes up to the door so we don't get... She just comes up here. We give her a little tip every time she comes and she brings our stuff. Harmless farmer, brother. If this shirt doesn't fit me, I'm going to be upset. Wendy's tickling in the background because, dude, I got to tell you something right now. Harmless, this is a wicked shirt. Friends, look at this. It's my color, for starters, green. That looks green. Babe, look at this. Look at this shirt. It's gray, babe. That's gray? Yeah, it's like faded, um, so faded it's the same, black. It's charcoal. Like my truck? Yes. Would I look good wearing this in my truck? Oh, yeah. Okay, check this out. Oh, it's lovely. It is lovely. Do you like it, babe? Yeah. Sweet. So I think it's, it's yeah, I think it's going to fit me. Now, it says Midwest Ohio Tour, October Harmless Farmer dot com. Friends, if you do not know who the Harmless Farmer is, you haven't been watching YouTube. Friends, go see this man. He's an amazing human being. He is. He's amazing. Uh, I love the man. 
um, the harmless farmer. Friends, he had a farming accident many, many years ago. And the things this man does, you, th you think you've had a bad day? You think you got it rough there, old scratchy? You, you think you got, you got problems? Go see the harmless farmer. Then, then get back to me on that one. Okay, bud? You go see this man. Right there. That guy. Go see him. Seriously, if you don't know who he is, go see him. Give him a subscriber. Tell him Buck and Billy Ray sent you over to say hi. Give him a toot for me, friends. He's also giving me something else here. Don't know what it is. But I'm going to share a couple things today. Um, I know that this was purchased by someone else. Uh, I don't I don't exactly know who, but, but maybe we'll find out here. This is a... Oh, I got some more Harmless Farmer stuff. Some stickers and a card. I love you, buddy. You are my friend. Harmless Farmer. Lyle freaking Davis. Lyle Davis, man. <laughs> Buddy, you sneaky guy, you. Lyle, I love you. You and your gal. Buck and stalkers. Lyle, thank you, buddy. Okay. Now, I, I would reckon this is some kind of a drinking apparatus. Oh, Chica, it's okay, hon. Yes, it is. Man, these are a popular item, aren't they, friends? Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a nice one. Isn't it? Isn't that nice, friends? Can you guys see me okay? Is it, is it good? I hope so, because this is getting a little bit long, this video. But I'm going to tell you something. I want to talk to you about a little something here. Um, uh, it's, I don't know if you saw the old Iron Horses video yesterday, but that man, I'll tell you something. Iron Horse, I'm just going to say this publicly. publicly. I personally, and, and, and it's got nothing to do with what you were saying about me, Know that to be the truth. I personally think that's some of your best content on your channel thus far. I think it's in the top three of your of your your offerings to the world. I do. I just think it was well done. It was diplomatic. Uh, very well done, brother. And you are my friend. And I love you. And your family. So, uh... Good for you. Good for you. Friends, I want to talk about another little something real quick here. I'm, I'm, I have concerns that, that this might not be that good. So I'm going to actually change position right now. Because if, if it isn't good, I don't want it to go on that, that long if it's, if it's not good. Because this is going to be our video today. Because I got saws to sharpen and logs to freaking cut and freaking axes to throw around. Because that's what I love to do. In my heart, I think about all the time power saws and axes. That's me. That's what I do. And spreading love and kindness. And helping others in our community and all over the world. And we got some freaking surprises coming up for you. Let me tell you, in the next couple of weeks here, before Christmas, we got giveaways that might spin your head. Friends, do you know how many people... Do, do you know the people that... The, the support I get from, from people here on this channel... People super chat. They come to watch the live feeds. They throw money at the channel, the uh, the community. They they super chat. Uh, uh, we have messengers of kindness that help the channel out monthly. Uh, really, that's all we have as far as in, in income to the channel. No sponsored videos yet. You never know. There might be a good product out there somewhere. At this point, we haven't done that. So you got guys like Dawu. He calls me his sponsor, actually. Dawu just sent me some, some beautiful things. I'm going to share something with you guys right now. And I'm going to see if I can... Oh, oh, that chair makes her go a little goofy. But I want to check something out. I want to see if I can get... Look at the day. I need to show you the day. You see what I'm talking about? This is, this is exactly what I'm talking about right now. Look at this character. Dawu Productions. Right here. I'm a proud owner of, of, of the Dawu and Craigular... Look at Jersey String Band, honorable member right there. Who's your daddy? Where does he work? What time's he off? And where's he taking holidays this year? Honorable member, Buckin' Billy Ray. Dawu, you are a super chatting son of a gun. You support this channel. You, you do it with your love and kindness. You do it with you do it monetarily with super chats. You just are a massive support to this channel. And Craigular, your buddy, I call him Ernest Hemingway. 
You people are beautiful. And when that money comes, some people say, well, where does it go? Well, I'm about to tell you where some of it goes right now. And it fills my heart that you people are part of and, and assisting me in my giving. It, it, it does. It's like it amps my giving up. So I want to show you because I'm a, I'm a believer. That's just how I believe. Everybody has their own beliefs and thoughts of, 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 of how giving is or, or where anything happens. Uh, to me, money or, or giving, everything is energy for starters. So money, it, it needs to keep moving, I find. I, I find when it moves, it's the best. That's an economy. That's what that is. That's an economy. It's a moving money. So same with giving. So this is, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put this here. Most of you know, are aware. I think this is going to be good. I hope you don't fall down because it's a good angle, I think. I feel good about this angle. Uh, this is a totally random, off-the-cuff, spontaneous video. And it just the way it happened. It's beautiful timing for this right now. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, there was some birds squawking in the last few days. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate. It is. It's very unfortunate. Names will not be mentioned, <laughs> but uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. If you decide to put yourself out there, friends, this is what I mean by invincible. Uh, and I am invincible, but I chose to be that way. That's a choice you make to become invincible to anything, right? It is. And, and you can do it too. And it would make the world better if, if you did, to be honest. Because you, you'd have no, you wouldn't need to retaliate in, in any way. Do you know what I mean? Because really, what is it all about? It's about the mirror hanging on the wall, being able to look in there and feeling good about what's going on in here and, and, and that up there, whatever, you, whatever you're hanging on to, whatever you're believing in. That, that's, that's all it's about to me. So it ain't about, it ain't about anything else, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just happy that I'm part of the Jersey freaking string band. Let me tell you that I am honored. Look at this burrito hat, burrito podcast. These guys, they're going to try and get me on their podcast. I know they are crazy guys, lovely men. Now, let me see if I've cleared up some of this. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have. Okay. So, um, most of you who come here uh, on a regular basis or at our live feeds, you see money flying around, people throwing money and supporting and super chatting and, and, and all this, this madness that goes on here. It's crazy. It's crazy. So, but, but you that do come here and, and, and witness it and watch it, if you hang around long enough, you see what happens, right? You do, you, you don't just go, holy cow, wow. You actually see it come and you see it go and you know what happens to it. So I want to explain something to you. This is, and, and I, I'm not, I'm not one of them dudes that, that turns on the camera and, uh, and goes and feeds the homeless. I've, I've done it. I've done it. I think once or twice on the channel where I've driven through the drive through. I like that one. When you go through the drive through at, at Tim Hortons, you know, and you buy the guy, uh, uh, you know, a coffee or a couple cars behind you. I, I enjoy doing that. I do it on a regular basis. But I used to see these, there was a fad going around years ago. I think it was on Facebook and people were filming themselves do good things and it just didn't sit right with me. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like it. But on the same token, I understood that it somehow would inspire others to maybe do the thing. So I, I grasped that. I did. I, I, I grasped it. But what I did not like is this, the pat on the back thing. I, I just, something about that doesn't work for me. So, but one thing I will share with you because you're part of it and you see it and you hear me talk about it and you've seen me drive by their new building that they've put up. And recently we gave Tia, who works at the women's shelter, who, uh, the women and, and their, their children have escaped violence from, from, from men who are sick, who actually need help too. It's not just the, the women and children. The actual men 
that are committing it, they, they actually need help too, believe it or not. They do. They're sick individuals. So maybe, maybe something can happen there somewhere along the line. You hear me speak of the Samaritan house, the covenant house. The covenant house is a homeless shelter uh, in Vancouver for the homeless in Vancouver. Children, homeless kids, homeless youth, okay? Now, <clears throat> excuse me, this happens rarely on my channel. I ain't looking for no pat on the back, so that's, you can abolish that. This is because people literally will, will super chat on the channel and they will say, Buckin, Samaritan house, please. Well, to those people and to Trevor, Trevor, dude, Donnie Walker popped by last night with those power saws. You savage beast. <laughs> you, you, people, there, there's so many giving people out there, friends. They know what it feels like. The gift is in the giving. And if, you, if you're holding on tight to your stuff, friends, I can't tell you what to do. But if you're holding on tight to your stuff, you know, like this and worried about someone's coming to get it, they're not. They're not. And if you start loosening up a little bit and giving some of it, you might find that something may change in your life. Instead of comparing yourself to people and, and being concerned about that. So I'm going to go a little easy on that right now. But what I am going to talk about is the Island Crisis Care Society, which is Samaritan House. They've expanded They've, they received a grant from the government, I believe. Did they not, babe, a little bit? Yeah, they did. They did. To build that structure that I drove by uh, uh, downtown Nanaimo. Remember, friends, I drove by and said, hey, here's where our donations go to that new building. I think it, I think it homes 52 families. I think. I can double check. Anyways, I'm shooting off, but I'm in a very, very good mood right now and a very convicted mood. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm, I feel... I feel very, I have conviction right now. And, and uh, I just do, I, I feel solid in my ground. My roots are solid. I just feel wonderful. I look after my family. I, 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 I give, I, I, I just feel good. I feel good right now about who I am. And uh, which is where the invincibility comes in to play. Because if you're lying, cheating, stealing, I say it all the time, and doing things that beats your self-esteem down and gives you reason to not feel good about yourself, you're not going to be very nice to people because you're not going to really dig, dig yourself. I'm kind of digging myself right now. And I have not dug myself in the past. Seriously, friends, I, I, I have been not very good in, the, in, in my past life. So I've experienced that already. So I don't need to go there again, you see? You get what I'm saying? I like this better. I like to give instead of take. So I hope that explains a little bit. Now, I'm gonna share this with you because this just showed up just now, about 10 minutes ago. I'll get my glasses. And again, the reason I do this is not for the pat on the back. It's for the people that actually donate. Hey, Trev, your axe from GBA, it's gorgeous, buddy. Donnie Walker brought it by last night. It's beautiful, pal. It really is nice. And uh, I am going to do what you said. See, what he said for me to do, I've never done a raffle, I don't think, in my life. Or a, what do you call them things? Uh, auctioners? I, I don't think I've ever done one of them things. It feels a little bit weird, but when the donations go to a good place, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, a shout out real quick to Dustin Poirier. I know you didn't win your UFC championship, world championship, buddy, but you're a champion in my mind. You'll never see this video, buddy. I know you won't, Dustin Poirier, but I'll tell you something. I love Oliveira, the guy that won. I just, I take a ton of inspiration from these people because they come out of nothing. They come out of nothing. And they, they people ask me, Buckin, you're, you're a man of love and kindness. Why do you watch the UFC? I watch the UFC because of the stories of these people who've come literally from nothing. I connect with that. 
because I too came from very humble beginnings. As most of you know, if you've been around this channel for a while and I ain't gonna shoot off about it because lots of people have. It's just what you do with it that makes the difference. So we donate on a relatively, what's the word? Common basis. We do it quite often. Often. That's the word I'm looking for. Island Crisis Center. Listen to this. This is quite nice. I'm going to read it to you. You can go or you can stick around and listen to it. Island Crisis Care Society. I have not read this, actually. This is the first time I've read this, but I know it's, it's positive stuff. It has been quite a year. As a community, we have adapted to new realities and a changing world around us. Together, we've sweltered in the summer heat and then braved torrential rains, whilst hearing of incredible hardships in neighborhoods not too far from our own all while wearing our new fashion statement face coverings and respectfully distancing from one another. It has been time of hardship for many, yet it has also been a time of renewal and hope. Here at the ICCS, Island Crisis Care Society, it has been a time of new excitement as well. By the time you read this, we anticipate that the new Samaritan place will be on the cusp of opening. This is beautiful stuff. Beautiful. The long-awaited cumulation, cu culmination of a plea for more room for hope that started back in 2017 in the new Samaritan place, the tradition of a program of women in crisis will be continued with 14 bridge to houses, bridge to housing, shelter beds, along with 52, I was right, 52 units of longer term supportive housing. Even more exciting, Samaritan Place will have a bridge to housing, two bedroom unit for families, offering a place of respite and a stepping stone to longer term support for families in crises. ICCS programs have developed in other ways this year as well. Following a long-term hope to develop transitional programming for clients ready to take the next step towards independence, Project, uh, uh, Project Rise was born. I love it, rise. Rise from the dirt, man. I love it. Uh, in two. The RISE program? Yep. That was sister. Really? Yeah. That's incredible. Good on you girls. That's amazing. Uh, we, we got some, the youth. Uh, I, 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 wanna, I wanna build youth. <laughs> I, I do, that's, that's always been a thing, the kids. Let's build the youth, friends. Let's be, let's be part of, you, 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 you've got an opportunity on YouTube. You do. If you come on YouTube, you've got a massive opportunity, friends, to, to, to act in love or the other one. You know, you really do. Gosh, I look at it as an honor and an absolute opportunity to spread love and kindness, and I'll go down swinging for it. Excuse me. Following the long-term hope develop transitional program for clients ready to take the next step, independence, Project Rise was born in 2021. Often, people who have experienced adversity and precarious housing in their lives have gaps in learning and experience that become barriers to their independence and employment. Project Rise will work to help clients overcome these obstacles offering pre-employment training and formal work placements for clients who have already or are already to move forward into independence. Argumenting, augmenting this is the development of a new kind of client support through the chaplaincy, through a chaplaincy program 
Yes, it is. Chaplain. That's wonderful. Wonderful. Designed to come alongside clients in need and offer a gentle and caring pastoral support. This is amazing. This, this is amazing because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interject for just one second here, friends. When I was in my depths of despair, loneliness, and in, 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 in the wraps of alcoholism and drug addiction, I was there. I was actually on my way to the streets. I had no place to go all by my own doing. And it was that woman over there cutting up them vegetables in that kitchen that gave me a purpose. She was the reason why I decided to get my life together. She was. I really had no reason. She'd left me months before and I'd gone on a spiral. And my drinking and drugging turned from a couple of days into, into, into weeks of, of, of despair and loneliness. Alcoholism and drug addiction is rampant and it, it, is, it is a rough one. It's a rough one. I feel very fortunate to come out of it because uh, you know my story, some of you. You do. I'm not, this isn't about me right now. It's not. But, but what I wanted to say when they started talking about this chaplain and this pastor thing, friends, I dumped my goodies. I dumped it. I, I, I was able to talk about the things that, that when I thought about them, they made me cringe that I was part of them and that I had done them. And things that had happened to me as a child, which I ain't too proud of, but I had, I was a victim of, okay? Straight up victim. So I got that stuff out. So now the invincibility that I talk about is very apparent in my life. You can't hurt me. <laughs> you can't. So. So the pastoral thing they're talking about and the chaplain, that was huge for me at the time because I was able to search out a man, a pastor, and, and, a, and share what had done, what I had done and what had happened to me. I was able to get it out. And he looked into me. He looked into my eyes, deep into my eyes, and he said, that's not the man I see sitting in front of me today. And I said, it's not. And he goes, it's that simple. You will live with integrity now. If you want integrity and you've done things that you're not happy about, and you know, you know in your core that you would never, ever think about doing that when you were in your right mind, then you start with integrity that moment, right now, instantly. Forgiveness, that's another issue. Don't twist your mind up and thinking that you got to go on some, some horrible groveling in front of something. You want forgiveness? You ask for it. And when you're sincere and you know you're never going to do it again, ask for forgiveness. It comes instantly. You are forgiven, but it takes time to wear that stuff down. It gets easier. It does. This is not about me. Argument and development, care, care, okay, design to come alongside clients in need and offer a gentle and caring pastoral support. Very safe. It makes you feel very safe. It's wonderful. For some, this may mark their first experience of a non-judgmental. This is amazing. Is this the, her? It's, their, it's sort of like the wrap-up letter for 2021. This is, this is really good, babe. Yeah. God, but this program they're talking about, this making you feel safe because a man of the church, yeah. This guy, this guy was amazing. His name was Greg. I remember him. He was a long, slender man with a big white beard. He actually looked like Jesus, to be honest with you. He was a man of the church. He was just a beautiful man. A beautiful face, calm, just just a wonderful man. Honestly, friends, I'll never forget it. It it it's probably the reason, one of the main reasons I'm still at peace is because I was able to dump that. If you hold on to stuff like that, she's going back on the simmer and she's going to simmer there. It will. And it'll, somebody will turn it up to medium one day and maybe high and it won't go away. Make it go away. Relive it. Revisit it. Check into it. And kick it out the door. You don't need to pack it around no more because it ain't who you are now. 
And uh, for some, this marks their first experience of a non-judgmental uh, non personal care that might lift them out of the despair and on the road to recovery. And in perhaps the most dramatic new direction of the year, ICCS Social Purpose Subsub Subsidiary Company Rising Hope Services, this is the one, has been created, building on a long desire to develop social enterprise programming to cultivate, cultivate flexible, sustainable funding for client-centered innovations. ICCS took the bold move to create Rising Hope and to step forward into an ex unexpected opportunity to purchase an existing and successful business, the Nanaimo Bakery and Cafe, for conversation into the social enterprise. This is incredible. Following its purchase in, 2000, uh, in July 2021, Rising Hope Services has been slowly revamping this community centerpiece into a social purpose entity, which will allow a percentage of future profits, oh, this is cool, to be funneled back into ICCS, Programming Innovations, like Rise, uh, the bakery, the cafe will host some of the project Rise Work placements in the future and Rising Hope will continue to grow with the hope and developing new social enterprises in the future. Yet, through it all, I have been convinced again and again of the power of grace in all that we do, in the decisions we take as ICCS and we strive to bring positive change for our clients. In the relationships across our wider community, we, where I see so many people dedicating energies and heart to work to support our most valuable members. And in the ICCS client who, despite sometimes almost imaginable hardships in their past and challenges today, continue to rise in hope each day for a better tomorrow. To all of them and to all of you, our dedicated supporters. Whoa. Damn. Whew. May this holiday season be one of peace, of grace, and of hope. Violet. Executive Director, Island Crisis Care Society. Grateful, thankful, blessed. A wall art reminder of gratitude displayed in, C in ICC's Newcastle Place program. Your super chats. Your support to this channel. That's where it goes. This is one avenue where your support to this channel goes. Right there. Okay? Because there's people, they'll come on the freaking live feeds. They'll come right on there. They'll go, Bucking, I love you, buddy. I love what you're doing. Here's 50 bucks. Could you please give it to the Samaritan house or Covenant House? They say it right on there. It gets done. So there was a few unexpected moments in this video. But friends, this wouldn't mean nearly as what it means to me if I didn't have the past I have. And I'll tell you something right now. I don't. I don't hide my past. It is my, my, my greatest tool. It is my greatest tool to not repeat. I will go down swinging for love and kindness. If you go back in my videos five, six, seven years ago, you will hear me say, this channel is not about tree work. 
forestry fed my family. And, and it, it, YouTube is, is, has changed our lives drastically and many others, as a matter of fact. So I'm going to stop there. I, I'm going to stop there because I, I just, my life is so full right now that I don't have the time nor the energy because everything to me is energy <laughs> to give to anything other than love, kindness, and positivity. So if you come to this channel, that's what you're going to see. If it's, if it's, if you're not in the place to receive it in your life, there's many a channels out there that have much unsavoriness about them. I saw one the other day, as a matter of fact. Friends, you have an opportunity yourself. You, you do. You have a massive opportunity. If you're planning on opening up a YouTube channel, if you've been inspired by someone and, and you think YouTube's for you, do it. Do it. Show your... Do, do, let me ask you this. Do you think people want to want to hear cussing and fussing and, and, and batting people down and beating people up and calling people out and, and actually lying and slander? Do, do, do you want to see that? Because I sure don't. And I won't even, I won't even, it's crazy, man. I, I, I can't tell you. I can't even say the N-word. Being the opposite of, of, of positive. Right? We, we know the word I'm talking. I can't say it because I'm giving it energy. That's just me. That's my goofy little stuff that I work with in my life. But it works beautifully for me. I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm freaking, it's, I'm going out and I'm going to file some power saws up. Uh, we're going to go cut them big fur logs that we knocked down for Robbie. He let me go at it. I was bugging him. I wanted to take care of it for him. And he, he don't like taking gifts. So somebody asked me about the recipient program. Well, Friends, I don't charge for tree work no more. When Hogan's with me, they're pro it's probably his job and I don't charge him neither. Because people ask me about that. What's the recipient program? Well, recipient. People are the recipient of a gift. So uh, I do my best. Some people won't take it. They, they, won't, they won't accept it. So they give you something so that I, then I accept it. But we don't charge. That was my, that was my dream six years ago. I'm still trying to find the video where I set it up in the drum room. Anyways, I'm going off because I'm excited. Hopefully this caught all this, all this, this jargon caught here. And it looks like it did. Yeah, it's, it, it's 38. Yeah, I, I, I know, Chica. I know. You're, you're a big, bad, scary beast. We know. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> anyway, over and out. Be kind. You have a gift. You have a major gift and a major opportunity every day. Every, every freaking interaction with every person, you have an opportunity. You can, you can act in love or you can act in fear. There's two ways to go. That's it. It's up to you. You'll catch me on the love, the love side. Friends, I love you all. Christmas is coming. I gotta go cut. ICCS, or is it ICCS, Island Crises. What an honor to help out such a neat program. See you on the next video, friends. Be kind. Give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down, comment. Do all the things that you are allowed to do when you watch your video. Utilize it. Be kind.